is a brand new Starbucks that just opened uh, probably a couple weeks ago in this uh, this uh, new uh, condominium building. And I gotta say, it looks really, really fantastic inside. That Starbucks used to be over uh, where, the, where the new Tim Hortons is uh, upcoming at uh, Bathurst and Hilltop Road. Right next to the Starbucks is the uh, Forest Hill LRT station. Well, it'll be very beneficial for uh, all the people that are living right above uh, the station here. I remember when this used to be some sort of uh, uh, plaza and had a Scotia Bank there. Oh man, it is such a gorgeous day to be at right now. Uh, today's the second day of September, Labor Day 2024, the day before we all go back to school. Just got myself a nice uh, iced coffee. It looks a little bit different, maybe because I added uh, sugar and soy milk. I don't know. I've been having the uh, Timmy's iced coffee so many times. I think I prefer the Timmy's better, but I don't think Starbucks disappoints uh, at all, uh, to be honest. I, mean, I just wanted to check up a new Starbucks and get something nice to drink, so... It's a lot cooler than it was yesterday. I mean, when I went to the CNE, went there from like 2 to 7 p.m., spent like five hours there. Had a great time. I even had a funnel cake for the first time. It's a always a classic. Uh, it's always a classic at the CNE. Even Richard doubted that I would, that I would uh, finish all of it, but I left only a little bit of it uh, back, so... No, I did not take the LRT here. I took the bus. Uh, for my place. Well, I took the 59 to uh, Cedarvale, and then uh, the 32 is right there, and uh, I quickly hopped on it, and uh, here I am. Now, Labor Day, you wouldn't see much uh, service, so uh, when I got off, it said 18 minutes, but now it's like 10 minutes, so let's say wait, and I'll just make a quick walking video here along Eglinton Avenue West, a street that I filmed so so many times over the years because as you guys already know i i live uh probably a kilometer west of here hey come on man it's such a nice day i don't even know what videos i'm gonna make today all i know is i'm gonna be meeting my friend yahia for the first time in months at finch station he spent the whole summer in uh jordan and he came back uh two days ago so it's like, hey, man, hey, so he's like, hey, Alex, are you uh, down to meet up today at Finch? We, we, we ride the 939 and, uh, uh, yep, you're welcome, man. And he, uh, he said, yeah, so, uh, instead of waiting, I'm just like, let's just walk up ahead and, uh, we'll see. Not only it's a long weekend here in Canada, but it's also in the United States. Labor Day is both uh, recognized in both in uh, both countries. Oh yeah! By the way, we are in the uh, Old Forest Hill neighborhood. Very very affluent uh, neighborhood with uh, million dollar homes, old and new. And also down the stretch, you have some very very old apartments here. They're very beautiful. They kind of remind me of. Uh, not these like walk-up uh, style apartments, but the architecture kind of reminds me of uh, it was like Art Deco or Montreal style, but it's really nice, really nice here. Oh yeah, uh, there's, uh, <laughs> there's my face here, just enjoying the nice early afternoon here, around 12, if I didn't mention already, it's around 12, 15 p.m., so. I know I did say I wouldn't be doing much walking videos on Eglinton Avenue, mostly because I repeat it. And plus, it's interesting because there's no LRT service here yet. <laughs> but we've been waiting, so. Yeah, see this design right here? That's what makes it pretty unique. And uh, here's Vesta Drive coming up. I am probably going to be hopping on the bus in the next 10 minutes. But we'll see. It's 16 degrees Celsius. That's the, that's the low for today. So it's, that's why it's a lot cooler 
Yesterday when I was at the CNE, it was hot, man. It was very, very hot. Also pretty busy too. Today would have been even more busier because it's the last day. I, I had a little bit of a break, so I uh, actually made one walking video through the midway from, uh, was it the Arts and Crafts Building to the Entercare Center? That's gonna be a members only video. And coming up at the lights is uh, Spadina Avenue. And then next up would be uh, Chaplain Crescent. Some freaking gorgeous uh, building here. Nice apartments. Here's uh, Gardner Road. There's a 32 bus going by, 7283 with its destination design sign all messed up. All of our new flyer hybrids have entered service, well, at least the 40 foot ones. The more you see them, the less you'll see of the OG hybrids, which are now normally seen on Jane, but can still be found here in Eglinton. Keel, wherever that's like Mount Dennis. Tell you what, if I'm at a bus stop on time and the bus is actually coming, I'll probably keep this filming and go all the way to Eglinton Station. If I'm still walking, I definitely don't plan to finish up and finish this video at Eglinton. I don't want to, because I've already done so many videos uh, along here, going all the way to a freaking Young. So. <laughs> why am I going to repeat myself? Seriously. Like, why Why the hell am I going to do that? I think I filmed a walking video in the street three years ago. I can't remember where I started or ended. Going over the uh, Beltline Trail. I used to walk it a lot during the, the pandemic. And as fall's approaching this month, the temperatures are gonna subside. And it's very certain that at the end of this month, we'll be seeing the leaves change in color. So it's gonna be really nice. Anyway guys, uh, I start school uh, tomorrow. So it's been several months, but I'm back. So, uh, I am probably going to be pretty busy with uh, schoolwork and shit, so uh, I don't know uh, how often I'll be making videos anymore. Uh, I think because of a New York trip, I was able to uh, make a lot more videos since then, specifically transit videos. Like I've been doing that almost every day. What well, was probably like once a day, and then I published it the next day because I've been running out. Now I have like videos that are going down to like. Like, from a month ago. I still have some from July that I got to post. Including from my Sunday morning adventure. Hey, there's my home route. The 14 Glen Karen. And, uh, yeah, there's the Chaplin LRT station. Chaplin, baby. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail here. But these, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, if only there was a bus going by, I think that would have been perfect, but it's okay. It's okay. And this coffee, is, it's not so bad. I had a milk and sugar, but I think it said soy on it too. Got a couple of walking videos here. It's a, it's a pretty nice street. I like looking at the nice homes here. In fact, I've been to... Uh, I think I've been to one of these houses before, a long time ago. Was it one of my mom's coworkers? She was having like a Christmas party in 2015. She invited us over. I really liked uh, that house. Uh, 
Oh, I see something. Yep, that is literally a 32 Eglinton bus. Why am I gonna take the bus when I can actually hop into here, take the freaking LRT just two stops over? Oh, wait. I can't go in there. Fucking thing's not open. You can see the stairs, a little bit of the concourse. Or is it? Oh no, that's the wall. That is actually the wall. And then you gotta go down. Yeah, since the bus is already here, I did say I was gonna hop on. And then I'll probably uh, show you. It's not, it's not often I get to do these walk and uh, bus rides. I mean, I, I did that for Mississauga before. Okay, what union am I gonna hop on here? What units? Because there's several units that I haven't even been on yet. I forgot my camera Saturday and missed an opportunity of riding a 7229 on the route, which is a bummer. 7263. 7263. There's another one behind, but. It's interesting because the information screens have been just like this when these buses entered service. Not to mention, not to even mention that, our, that these screens don't even freaking work properly. Seriously, like they glitch all the time. They're not even displaying like like good information. Like we need better information screens on these buses. Like think of what the MTA does in New York City. Like when I was riding the buses there, their information screens were very, very clear. Like, I think each stop, they should have, like, the connecting stop, routes. Uh, the subway lines are there, go train stations, just like how the MTA does it. Like, man, I really think they should get their shit together and just revamp their whole uh, information system. Like, seriously. Ugh. Pretty sure uh, this is a unit I've been on already. Although I could have I could have continued walking up to the next stop and catch on the bus behind us, but something tells me the bus behind us is gonna blow. It's gonna literally gonna um, overtake us. And just get there first. I was riding the 63 home yesterday. It was really busy. It took us way longer than it should have to get home. But it was a very nice sunset. Really nice. Oh shit, uh, the Eglinton Grand. Uh, I forgot to point that out. Uh, that's a notable uh, uh, old school uh, theater that we just passed by. I don't know, I find the Eglinton bus uh, it's it's actually been a lot faster recently. Next like stop, to get from like Keel Keelsdale to Eglinton West. Literally takes less than 10 minutes. Maybe in like off peak hours too. Strange world, isn't it? Like I swear, Next if buses stop, outpace the LRT, I'm gonna be so mad. Just the only thing that pisses me off is, you know, you're gonna be waiting 
20 minutes for a bus today when they should really be uh, filling up um, the gaps in service, right? By the way, earlier this year, they completely demolished an office building. Uh, yeah, literally right in that spot there. Th like, it didn't even take them a month just to demolish that shit down. Seriously. <laughs> Stop. I'm still drinking my uh, coffee here. Seventy two oh three on the uh, thirty two C. Somebody got off. I could have went back to the that seat over there. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're already here, so. Waiting for that guy to move in front of us, but uh, someone's um, putting a bike on the rack. Oh no, we just got off. Okay. Alright fellas, we're going to wrap things up now <laughs> here at Eglinton Station. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well. And uh, yeah, I know, I know many of you guys when I start my videos inside buses or even in and off at, at inside buses too. This is, just, this is definitely one of them. Anyway, I'm going to hop down to the subway platform and take the North Pride train all the way to the end of the line. I've been doing that lately. I don't know why, but... We're we'll doing it anyway. Thank you guys for thank you guys for watching. Uh, good luck in school. Have a great rest of your summer. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Adios and uh, bye bye. Peace out.